focus on my face. Ooh, not too close, too close, too close, too close. Better. <laughs> the internet world, it's Sierra, aka CC the Amputee, and I wanted to come today to have an updated video on my life the past season track and field season last season was absolutely amazing i had ups and downs but overall like i've never would have guessed that i would have gotten as far as i did last season it was absolutely insane last season was the very first season that i actually had paralympic coaches to help for my upcoming meets so that was pretty awesome and i definitely saw major improvements because of that and long story short i don't want to get into the boring details but long story short i did so well last season that i made it to world's championship which was in qatar in the middle east and i had an absolute blast um i had so much fun the only thing was that i didn't do well during my meet i did so bad that i cried on the track and it was absolutely embarrassing but like all of these people from different countries you had japan people from the netherlands people from there was a girl who was an, an amazing athlete from france like people from all over seeing me cry on the track it was embarrassing but i just had to shed my emotions because i was so frustrated that i did not reach the goals that i had in mind and um yeah so but i learned a lot from that season i learned a lot on what i need to improve on so um it was it was it was bad but good at the same time i it took me about a couple it took me about three days to kind of get over um being upset that i didn't reach my goals but hey i mean it happens this season is the season where the paralympic committee determines who is going to rio so fingers crossed that i make it because i am kicking my own butt this season i have um strength and conditioning coaches i have my same paralympic coaches track and field coaches that's helping me get to where I need to go. So I'm working so, 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 so very hard and I really, really want this. Um, I really want to see how far I can go with this whole Paralympic track and field thing. And the other day I was just thinking like, man, I came so far being diagnosed with cancer one month and then, and then the next month, which was the day before New Year's, I had my, my surgery. Coming from there and just falling into that deep depression to um, getting having a prosthetic running leg donated and um, just falling in love with sport and tapping into athletics, I never would have thought that I would have gotten this far ever. I never ever ever like I was never a true athlete when I was a kid. Never. Um, but I mean, it's just pretty cool. It's pretty amazing to see how far I'm going um, as an adaptive sports athlete. Um, also, uh, this video is just a very, very small update, but I also just want to encourage anyone who has uh, doubts that, you know, they can't achieve certain goals. Like you can achieve any goals that you have your mind set on. And there's a really good quote that's out there that says, um, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. You cannot allow negative people to tell you that you can't, can't, can't when you know in your heart that you can. And um, I definitely had some people um, in my close circle of friends that doubted um, my ability, but you i had to push forward and i had to not i wasn't thinking of them to proving them right i had to prove myself right and um look how i i mean i have a long way to go but i've come so so very far to being severely depressed to now having a huge possibility to make it to rio i have two major meets coming up it's only a couple of months away and um trying not to get nervous but it is a little nerve-wracking because i mean 
this is what I've worked so hard for and I'm sure other athletes work just as hard if not even harder so fingers crossed that I make it and I get there and I don't know and then this is the first time that the para the summer Paralympics will be televised I know they had the winter Paralympics televised um, I think it was like two years ago a year and a half ago, two years ago, I can't remember. It was the Winter Olympics, they televised it. So this is the very first time that they're gonna televise the Summer Paralympics. So, and of course it's this year, it's the year that I'm hopefully gonna get involved in. But yeah, this is just a quick mini update. I also wanted to mention that I'm gonna start a video series called Hashtag Road to Rio. So I'm gonna record um, any events, be it uh, some of my training events that I have going on that has any type of association with getting to Rio. Um, so hopefully I'll be consistent. It is very, very, very hard to remember to bring my camera with me every single day and to record every single minute. But I will try hard and I definitely want to share my experience with everyone. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon and see you in Brazil. Fingers crossed. Prayers up to God. All right. Bye. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see what's coming up next on my road to Rio.